Hey what's up guys it's Ozzy here I just watched Logan and I must say this is honestly one of my favorite movies already and wow this was an incredible incredible movie. So this is the last movie Hugh Jackman is portraying Wolverine which honestly 17 years as the character job well done he was amazing even if the movie was bad he was a good part in the movie. So the first thing I want to say about this movie is it is super rated R. Now when I mean rated R, I mean th these claws are going through people's necks and their heads are falling off, limbs are coming off, and it is crazy. So Wolverine is really tired. He doesn't really want to be Wolverine that much anymore. Like he's not part of a team. There's no more mutants. It's just him, Professor X, and another mutant living out in, uh, I think it's New Mexico. And basically they're struggling. Wolverine looks so done with life. Professor X has a brain disorder. And the other mutant, is, he can't be in the sun. So Wolverine meets a new character, which is X-23, which I think... The girl who played her was incredible. She was easily my second favorite character in this movie, obviously, next to Wolverine. I think she, the actor absolutely killed it, and she was the biggest badass I've seen in a long time. She was, oh my gosh, she was crazy. Her claws were going through tons of people, and she reminded me of Wolverine back when he was really, really young. This movie is basically a road trip story. So we have these bad guys that are chasing Wolverine and X-23 and Professor X and they're just going from place to place to place and the story just continues from there on. And I love that kind of aspect to the story. The setting I think was perfect as well. It wasn't deserted and it wasn't like super populated. And I think that was perfect because Wolverine right now, he wants to be alone so there's not very many people that live near him. Actually, I don't think there's one that I could say live pretty close. He's all by himself with Professor X and the setting was visually stunning. I love the kind of sand desert looking settings. I don't know to me it just looks really really cool and I really like it. The action in this movie is crazy. Wolverine's claws are ripping through people like Mm, it's oh my god it was crazy in IMAX I'm seeing heads people's heads going flying off the screen in 1080p 4k whatever the theaters are playing these days and it was insane normally in X-Men movies or the other Wolverine movies it's more like a little kind of stab 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 or he goes for a big hit and then you kind of hear a sound you don't really see it and this movie you'll see his claws go straight through someone's head it is crazy to see the first kill that i saw him do with his claws maybe happened within the first five minutes of the movie and you know you knew right there the tone of this movie it was going to be a gory shit show of awesomeness the villain in this movie is I would say a decent villain, like you can tell he's in there just for Wolverine to fight, otherwise it'd be really boring if there was no villain. And there is another antagonist, but it is a surprise because you haven't seen him in any trailers or anything, so I won't spoil that. This movie had a great ending to Wolverine, or Hugh Jackman's era as Wolverine. The final scene in this movie, I, I will remember that scene forever. It was a huge, huge scene and it just looked amazing and stunning on the big screen when the movie was done people clapped so you knew the movie was good and Hugh Jackman obviously did a good job as Wolverine in his final movie I think it was a good send-off but now on to my negatives so my negatives about this movie aren't that great I would say a thing that's personal to me is a tribute to the actor so when I saw the killing joke in theaters it was Mark Hamill's last time doing the Joker's voice and what they did was they had maybe like a 5-10 minute tribute to Mark Hamill with the DC animated kind of universe and I thought that was really really great it made me excited about the movie even more and really kind of acknowledge all the work that Mark Hamill's done for DC and I was kind of sad that they didn't do that for Hugh Jackman kind of have him in a chair answering some questions saying like what his favorite thing about the character was and so on but I think that would have been very very cool to have before the movie Another thing is his yellow costume isn't in this movie, which is a huge bummer because it was shown in at the end of Wolverine, The Wolverine, and they actually didn't use it in the movie, which kind of sucked because I really wanted to see that suit. It would have made sense in this movie because he has 
barely, barely has a healing factor, really. And I think it would have been cool to protect them, and it would look visually pleasing, and it would look really, really cool. Maybe even just for five minutes. Five minutes, just give me that amazing yellow suit right there. And my final complaint, or little negative, I guess, about this movie would be there are some unanswered things. Like, me as a viewer, I like to know everything that happened and why it happened in the movie. I don't like to be left guessing or not knowing things, but that was the final negative I had with this movie. So with that said, I want to give Wolverine an A. Now, I thought this movie was crazy. It's easily one of my favorite movies. I loved Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. I loved him as Old Man Logan, which this movie is based off of. And I love that comic. Honestly, I would say if this movie was turned into a comic book, I would like this version of the comic better than Old Man Logan. I don't know. I just really, really like this movie. I'm actually buying a poster and putting it in my theater room over there. So you guys will see that in a video soon. Um, leave a comment below if you guys have seen the movie and what you guys thought about it. And, uh, honestly, leave a comment below if you guys think the yellow suit would work. Honestly, I do. Obviously not, a really bright yellow, but a dark yellow and black I think would look amazing. So yeah, guys, I love this movie. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. I'm actually seeing Kong Skull Island on Friday, so I will have the review for that this weekend. And, uh, make sure you guys subscribe so I can see you guys next time.